Now, a dictionary list is uh, very similar to an unordered list or an ordered list, except uh, I guess the main difference is, is that it kind of groups together um, two different elements. Uh, if we go back uh, to my example, we know that obviously any dictionary entry, just I mean I'm talking about a real dictionary, right, or you know, traditional dictionary rather, has the whatever the term is. So here I got usability, and then it has the actual definition or description of that of that uh, term. Uh, and in HTML, that's exactly how it's defined. Instead of having, you guys have all likely used a UL, an unordered list, and you know that you have a UL, and inside of there you have an LI, a list item. Well, inside of a DL, a dictionary list you're going to have uh, first a DT dictionary term which is usability and then the description DD and they're kind of uh, associated together like that so right now I actually have a list of all the dictionary terms uh, just to make sure everybody knows chapter 1, 2, and 3 refers to uh, the jQuery uh, novice to Ninja book by SitePoint, and I kind of pulled out some terms from there that I wanted um, for this project. So I made, here are all my descriptions. Now I have actually a list here of those things for myself already. I'm just going to copy them, and then I'm going to bring them into Dreamweaver. And in, in my code view now, because I I'm going to put in, I'm going to paste the the uh, actual terms um, into code view because then that way they don't get any formatting, right? Because if I let's just say that if I took these and put them in here this way, you know, now all of a sudden look at all this stuff I got. I got a paragraph text that has line breaks in after it. This is it's stuff like this that I know annoys a lot of people who are are. Um, who prefer not to work with Dreamweaver. Um, Dreamweaver adds a lot of code for you because it assumes you want, it assumes certain things. Maybe you could even say that uh, Dreamweaver is more visually driven than code driven, which I think is cool. I mean, I mean, I know at times I'm wrangling Dreamweaver's, you know, auto code as well, but hey, it works for me. And, and I'll show you exactly how I like to work with it. Um, now, so here I am, chapter one. I'm going to put my dictionary terms. I'm going to paste them right in there, just like that. If I go, uh, now I have, now they're all a mess like this. Before I go adding any uh, spaces or, 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 you know, carriage returns into the design view, I'll actually select all of it. I think there were, is it insert, um, oh, format right here. Okay. Definition list. There we go. And now it has this thing as a DT, not exactly what I was going for. There we go. That's the term. Ah, see, there's a little bit of wrangling over here. Um, maybe what I'll do is just dictionary term, and I'll actually just put it in manually myself. kind of see how I'm working over here. I'm kind of working for speed, not for, uh, um, I mean, obviously this is not semantically correct, uh, but I'm just trying to bang this out quickly. Let's see, I have this here. Here's my dictionary list. Uh, let me get these over here. Okay, so now I have that loaded. Bear with me while I plug all this in. And I'm already planning ahead. You know what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done putting all these tags in? I want to make sure that all my formatting is, is correct. And I'm not I'm talking about visual formatting, uh, at least the, the rendered view. I'm talking about my code view because I'm going to be working with this later. So I'm always indenting things that are nested just because for me it makes it easy to follow stuff. So uh, since my my DL is, you know, nest kind of like... Well, it's not totally nested. It's not really nested inside this H2. But for me, you know, I add a tab. It kind of puts it in there since, you know, that's what it's going to look like visually rendered. And since my DL, is, it's since all these dictionary terms are inside my DL, there you go. And, you know, when I actually add the uh, 
the DT, the dictionary description, I'm going to indent, indent that as well. So what I'm going to do now is just go from, uh, don't need that, I'll go back to my main page and I'll copy that in here. Let's see. Or you know what, maybe I could use, instead of doing it this way, I bet you, ah, look, see, now it works. Now that's cool because now I could take all my dictionary descriptions and just go right into design view over here and I paste it and now see now I like what this is doing I like the automatic behavior because it's um, putting the tags in there for me just like I wanted it to alright cool so anyway for this assignment I, I while I provide you the uh, actual terms I'm not going to provide you the the dictionary descriptions that's going to be up to you um, when you're finding the dictionary descriptions, make sure that, just like I did, if you notice that every single one of my dictionary descriptions, you see, has a link over there. Since, I mean, I'm not asking you to write up a definition for all these things, but you find something from a, an authoritative site, meaning, look, I have a jQuery uh, tag over here, and I'm getting what it does from the actual jQuery site right and just make sure that when you reference things or you're looking up things you're looking them up from legit sources it's kinda of like think about it if who do you believe more the guy on the street tells you you got you know cancer because you're coughing or your doctor says it's just a cold obviously the the weight of the information you're getting is based on where you're, the quality of the reference and you, you know um, that's that's the way I see it. So make sure when you're getting this kind of stuff, you're picking a quality source to to get it from. So I am almost done here. Uh, whoopsie. And I guess you know what? We'll just we'll leave the rest blank. It's cool. Uh, make sure that uh, after you you put this in there, look back at your code. And do you like it? Is, it? is it visually easy for you to follow? Um, I, what I'm going to do now that I kind of always do is, at least for my DDs, uh, whoops, I want to indent them. And this is not letting me indent. I don't know what happened here. I guess, okay, now it keeps on erasing it. Yeah, maybe it's just buggy Dreamweaver for right now. Um, well, I guess I just won't do that then. <laughs> um, I, well, I don't really need to do it that way, right? I could just select all these and go in. Uh, I'm going to, again, the only reason I'm doing this specifically is because, now look at that extra code I didn't add, is because later on, I'm going to end up looking at this site uh, through the code view to make sure that it's all good, right? Um, let's just see what it looks like through my browser. I mean, here's what it looks like right now through the browser. But when I'm working with it later on, I'm going to be looking at the code view, and at least this way, keeping the code nicely formatted from the beginning is going to make it easier to follow. Because I personally get easily lost in all this stuff. So I just know that from the beginning, if I stay organized every step of the way, as this project gets more and more complicated, uh, it'll be it'll be less layers of complexity to peel off of it, you know, because I'm the last one to be good at keeping all this organized in my mind. You just need a system as you're going along to keep yourself in check so you always know how you did things. Keep it consistent, I guess, is key.